Welcome back. And in our top business story, Dubai's economic growth projection increased by 4% in the first quarter of 2012, according to a Dubai chamber study. The study shows that four out of six GCC countries, and the UAE in particular, are poised to witness robust economic growth this year in comparison to the previous year. According to the latest International Monetary Fund data combined with figures from national authorities, the UAE will see a year-on-year GDP growth of 4.5% in 2012, while Kuwait, Oman and Bahrain will record a year-on-year growth of 4.9%, 4% and 3% in 2012 respectively. Additionally, higher allocations to current public spending, notably on wages such as those recently announced in the UAE and Kuwait, will boost domestic demand and non-hydrocarbon growth. Easier regional intra-trade within the Arab world could stimulate up to 2 million jobs, according to experts. According to a local paper, a report by the International Trade Center reveals that only 11% of Arab non-oil exports are within the region, one of the lowest rates of intra-regional trade in the world. By changing some of the standards and customs procedures, could help boost trade by 10% and create jobs, according to the experts. Most Arab countries mainly trade with Europe, the US and Asia, as taxes on goods exported from the region have come down through free trade agreements. The Abu Dhabi National Exhibitions Company is looking to further promote itself at the London Olympics in order to capture a larger share of the global conference and events industry. ADNEC will play host to thousands of visitors at the Excel Convention Centre in London, which it bought for 2.3 billion dirhams in 2008. The centre will be the only venue to host an Olympic event every day for the Games this year and is one of the largest venues for the Olympics, with over 70,000 visitors expected to attend each day. The centre will host seven Olympic Games, including boxing, wrestling, judo, table tennis and fencing, as well as six Paralympic events. And let's now take a look at the stock indices across the GCC.